Hello, I am your host, Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. Now, the previous video that I did showed you all the overview and all the features that comes with the Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Now, this video will help you get started. And what you'll do is up here at the top, uh, this is your menu, uh, menu bar. Uh, this gives you direct access to the wizards, uh, functions for dynamic disks, partitions, disks. Uh, even if you want to change how the program is displayed, such as fonts and locations of all your uh, windows here. Uh, you also have the general, so you can reload or refresh the listings. Uh, down here you have the toolbar. Uh, this allows you to apply or you can undo or discard any changes that you're going to make. Uh, here you have the quick apps here. You have data recovery, which is available in Pro Ultimate. Uh, you have the partition recovery, which is available in Pro and Pro Ultimate versions. Uh, dynamic disks is only available in Pro and Pro Ultimate. Uh, disk benchmark. Uh, this comes in handy if you want to test the speed and reliability of the drive. Uh, if you're running low on space, uh, you have the space analyzer here to show you and what is taking up the most space of your computer. On this side, you had the bootable media. Uh, you can create the uh, Windows pre-installation environment. So in case your computer crashes, you'll be able to uh, boot up your computer to do repairs. Uh, any problems or any questions on how to use a feature, you can click on their manual icon here. Uh, this will take you to the website to break down all the functions and how to use each function. Now here uh, you have the uh, action panel on this side here. Uh, this provides quick access to different functions depending on what's being available for your task. Down here at the bottom, you have the operations pending. Uh, this gives you a list of everything that's about to be performed. And up here is where you can either apply those pending tasks, or you can undo one, or you can discard them all. On this side here, you have a listing of all the partitions. Now down below, you have what's called the disk map. Now, this shows you a visual representation of how the partitions are set up on that particular disk. Down here at the bottom, uh, this is what's called the legend bar. Uh, down here, you have the colors that represent different parts of the partition. Over here on the right, uh, these are icons that you can use to help share your um, experience with Minitool with your friends, whether it's on Facebook or Twitter. Now, they still have the Google Plus on here, but as you recall, uh, they did do away with the Google Plus. Uh, there are still some functionality uh, with Google Plus, but not to the, to the standard public. Now, if you want to change the layout of what you see here, it's fairly simple to do. Uh, if you go up here and click View, uh, this will show you everything that's set to to be displayed. For instance, you have the toolbar, the legend bar, and the actual panel. Uh, if you put a chat mark beside one, it will turn it on. Um, or if you want to, you can turn a specific one off. Disk map location, that is this uh, window down here. Uh, this gives you the option if you want it to display on the top or if you want to display it on the bottom. Now, by default, the program will display it on the bottom. However, if you want to choose top, then it will display the disk map on the top, and then it's going to display the listing of the partitions on the bottom. Next, we have change font. Now, the change font allows you to change the fonts that the software uses. Uh, by default, it uses Tahoma uh, at the normal with the font of number 10. Uh, you can also do different uh, strikeout underlines. And as you can see here, uh, there are uh, several uh, that fonts that you can use, whichever one you prefer. Next, we have language. Uh, if you need to change the language of the software, uh, you'll see right here where it shows the different languages that the software supports, such as French, German, Italian, 
Japanese, Korean, and Spanish. To register your Minitool Partition Wizard Pro or Pro Ultimate, you will need to purchase the software or the license in order to use those other features such as partition recovery, data recovery, and dynamic disk management. To register, you'll come over here to the right. Uh, you'll see an icon that says register, or you can also go up here to help and then go down to enter license key. You will see this window up here. Now, as you can see, this one said it's already been registered, but I can change the key code if I want to go from Wizard Pro to Pro Ultimate. Now, if you want to, it does give you the link here if you want to buy it. Uh, you can click here and it will take you to the page so you can purchase the version that you want. Once you receive the email, you'll also receive a license key. Uh, once you get the license key, you can enter the license key by copying and pasting the key into this box. And then click register. Next, I'm going to talk about selecting an operation. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a simple operation. As you can see here, the drive I have selected here, the partition is unallocated, means it's not formatted or anything. Uh, this is a 120 gigabyte drive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click the partition. Now, as you can see, this partition is selected. The menu here has popped up with options that I can perform. And if you look over here, this also had changed to options that I can perform. What I'm going to do is create a partition. Here, you're going to create the partition. I'm going to label it. Uh, I'm going to leave everything like it is. You don't have to make any adjustments to this. Now, I will go into details uh, further on down the videos to show you what all these functions are and how to use them. Once you select as what you want to do, then choose OK. Now, you're going to notice over here, in this list, it's going to say Operations Pending. Now, you'll notice up here now that these three options here have changed. They're highlighted to where they're active or enabled. Now, you can do multiple tasks if you'd like. Um, you can have more than one task um, in this list, and for each task, this will show up down here. Once you have approved and you're ready to apply the tasks, what you'll do is click Apply. You'll see the message here that says, are you, uh, are you sure that you want to apply the changes? And it also will give you the warning about the changes that are about to be made. Once you confirm it, choose Yes. You will see the screen pop up and the status of the process that it's performing. Once it's finished, it's going to automatically update the list. Once it's completed, you're going to see where the all changes have been successfully applied. And you'll notice that my drive is now formatted and it can be used. In this example, as you can see on the left-hand column, I'm going to perform multiple functions. Over here is the representation. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the partition that we just created into two different separate partitions. This one is going to be drive K labeled demo and this one over here will be drive L labeled demo 2. Now, as you can see over here this gives you details as to what's going to be performed. Now again once you agree and you're confirming everything is done then you can select apply and then it will perform the tasks. But let's say, for an example, that we decided, no, we don't want to do that. I changed my mind. Uh, what you can do is you can go back and choose Undo. So each one that you do not want to do, just select Undo. And that's how you can undo any changes. Now, the changes won't take effect until you click Apply. So if you decide that you decide not to do something, then you can click Undo to undo the last command that you wanted to do. In this example, let's say that you have a list of pending operations as you see here, but then you decided to forego it and not do it at all. All you would have to do is click 
discard. It's going to confirm. Are you sure you want to cancel all the uh, pending changes? Just choose yes. And the operations are canceled. So the apply will confirm and perform the changes. Undo will undo the last chain, the last uh, job that you wanted to do, and discard will cancel the whole operation. Once you have finished your operations, then you can simply exit the program by clicking on the red X in the upper right hand corner, or you can also go to General and then choose Exit. Well, this concludes this video. I uh, hope it was helpful to get you started using the mini tool partition wizard. Uh, if you have any questions or problems, uh, their links are down below in the video description if you need to get in touch with support with any of your questions. Uh, if you need offline activation assistance, uh, there is a link down below that shows you with a link to show you instructions on how to activate it if you do not have internet connection on the computer that's installed. I am your host, Mr. Fixit from ES Repair. Stay tuned for other videos that I will be coming out to show you all the details and all the functions of the software. Thank you for watching.